Good afternoon, folks. Stu reporting on the calm before the storm. The storm's getting up. Storm Bernie for you this uh, next couple of days, folks. So you can hear me because of the wind. But uh, yeah, this is the start of it. It's about three o'clock. It's going to be a big storm. So I'm just having my lunch. Just check out the conditions. It is getting a bit windy. So, Storm Brendan, it's just uh, moving away, folks. Um, battered us last night, absolutely battered us. Um, I'll put a wee bit of footage on here. Um, excuse the wind noise, because obviously it was stormy. So, um, but yeah, my, my roof got battered at my house, and my satellite dish came off, and um, yeah, it was bad. But I might grump this morning because the uh, sky people can't come for a month. So my satellite dish is going to be hanging off my roof for a month with no TV which means I've got to use my Chromecast and iPlayers and all this kind of stuff so I need to get used to all the, the technical jargon for the next month so that'll be fun and games so anyway we're down at St Cyrus um, just my usual weekly walk get a bit of shopping done and um, just heading down the beach for a quick stroll all oh, the wood has been dragged up folks this is St Cyrus Beach which is normally Miles out. And look, look at all this wood. I actually left our boat this morning. It was actually quite. Uh, cloudy but it was beautiful and sunny this way but obviously as I've driven this way the clouds followed me as you can see behind me it's getting quite uh, stormy down there but let's go for a walk <laughs> let's go for a walk as far as we can go folks without right, falling over a revade in John's Haven a lot of wave activity let's go and have a wee, uh, I don't know if I actually mentioned it the other day, folks. Well, yesterday, when I was down looking at the, the storm at the harbour, um, this massive wave came, absolutely soaked me, absolutely drenched me. I had to walk back from the, uh, the harbour back up to my shop. <laughs> Half my breeks absolutely soaking. I'm sure people thought I'd pissed myself. Here you go, I'll put a wee clip on uh, here so you can see what I look like. I felt like a total idiot. Anyway, I'm trying to get down close to the wall here in John's Haven. So about the wire folks, I've got the mic on obviously because it's so windy. But, um, so you can walk along here, John's Haven, right along past the lime kilns. It's a long, long walk right along to the far end. Or oh, this way just goes along past the harbour and then down uh, to the little beach on the other side. So that's where I'll go, I think, right along um, past the harbour area and see what's occurring down there. Look at this boat here, folks. It's actually water in the boat now, this is why you don't want to park down beside the uh, the harbour folks when it's stormy because you get rocks and boulders and everything thrown at you hit your car now, look at the debris here folks it's like a, a war zone Sand, rocks, seaweed, everywhere. Yeah, folks got a first floodgate up. These people are prepared. 
but there's absolutely nobody about today folks I did actually see some walkers going up this way but goodness knows where they're walking to maybe up to Inverbervy but it's like a ghost town today I think everyone's just indoors uh, staying cosy having hot coffees and soup and stuff like that cool stones along here folks it's got people's uh, names on them folks checking up on everybody. Right, that's it folks, the rain's come on, it's getting even more stormy now, so that's it. We'll head back to Montrose and then back to our both. folks i just had a message there on my uh answer machine from um from the police it was like uh this is a uh, police scotland here if you're the owner of uh, nissan duke that's parked at john's haven harbour would you please return to your car immediately because it's about to be swept away by the high tide <laughs> so just as well i went back to my car when i did folks so um yes so that's it bye folks